<clears throat> One, two, three. Welcome to Staying Relevant, your favorite podcast in the world, hosted by two best friends on their quest for fame. I hate it when you say we're on a quest for fame. You what? do it every week because it just makes me cringe. Um, we are professional now, so I will be drinking and I will be swearing. If you don't like it, go f yourselves. You. Oh, just so over the top. Sorry, right? sorry. You really went all out, <laughs> yeah. didn't you? So how have you been? Very good. But we have so much to catch up it's on. It's been a while, hasn't it? There is actually far too much to catch up on in one day. So over the next couple of weeks, you're probably going to be hearing uh, what we've done for the past months mm. uh, in total. Where do you want to start, Sam? I think actually we start with uh, a round of applause, which you don't actually have to do, but for the Laura Woods episode. Well, yeah. didn't it do fucking well? Didn't it do fucking well? And listen, I uh, it's not like I've been waiting to tell you this, but um, I, told, did. I told you so, uh, based on the fact that they're the sort of guests we need. I still want Katie Price. No, Sam. She was, she was actually at the podcast show. Was she? Doing a talk, yeah. We'll come on to that later. <laughs> but yeah, Laura Woods, uh, I think that's more to do with the fact that she's an amazing guest rather than the fact that we are any good. However, we didn't talk over her. This is the thing. I learned. I learned, motherfucker. Um, I think that's because she's quite respectable and gave it back to us. Yeah, good point. Good yeah. point. Yeah. You spoke about her feet, though, which I thought was very interesting. Yeah, that came across a lot weirder than it was meant. I mean, I haven't seen her feet. I don't know. I'm sure, Laura, you've got lovely feet. I'm Would you sure like to see her feet? Um, it, it's it's not high on my priority list. Because you two were flirting quite a bit, I feel we like. We were not flirting. There, I, there are a lot of comments on the Instagram being like, Sam's just a spare part here. But they Laura say, and Pete flirting. Right, they said that about Saffron. They say about anyone that comes on. Well, stop flirting then. I'm not flirting. That's just me. Well, stop looking at people's feet. I wasn't looking at her feet. You're making it weird like I've got a foot fetish. It does. Um, anyway, where's your football top, you fucking fang? Yeah, I know, yeah, but that was that great. Was the most pathetic thing I've ever seen. <laughs> she literally fucking had you right up. You literally a full kit wanker. Yeah, yeah, but it's because I'm a huge fan of hers. Uh, so when's darts happening? Uh, well, I, I DM'd uh, uh, her. Uh, uh, yeah. I DM'd her and she just didn't reply. Yeah, so there's no darts. <laughs> I don't think so, no. no. So you went you went in too hard. I did go in too hard, but you didn't want to DM her, so I DM'd her for you. Because I don't... If she wants to play darts, then we'll play darts. Yeah, but, but... you But the problem with you, right, if we're trying to meet up with Laura Woods... But you're why are we trying to meet up with Laura Woods? Because we wanted to be our friend, because she's fucking, like, a star. She is our friend. She, I thought you were going to say she's average just then. No. She, no, because she didn't reply to my DM. Yes, because you went in too hard. Yeah, but you, you don't go in at all. That's your problem. You never go don't in. need to. If it's going to happen, then it'll happen, Sam. No. No, no I'm not begging fucking friends off of a fucking podcast. It feels it's like absolutely we're, fucking ridiculous. It's like we're flirting with her. It's oh, like it's so just, trying to ask her out. Yeah, well, no wonder then she doesn't fucking want to come out with two fucking morons like us to fucking throw pricks at a fucking wall. Pricks being the darts. Yes, thank you for that. Yeah. Um, so, staying rid of them. Wow. Where do, we, where do we begin? Where do we begin? I actually don't know where we begin because there's so much to talk about. What would you like to start with? Um... Hmm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. What have you done this week to stay relevant? Well, it's a good thing we don't have any more guests because we've got a lot to catch up. Well, I went to the wedding. I went to Jamie's wedding. The wedding. Well, it's nice that you actually got invited to it. I know. Um, yeah, I told you I was going to go to the wedding. So this was the proper wedding. This is the proper one. This is the big. This is the event. So this and how was it? I mean, I've seen pictures and it looked um, it looked incredible. Yeah. So uh, we roll up outside. Actually, I wore a black tie, but not just like a suit. I wore an actual <laughs> black tie. Yeah. Well, I know that because you messaged me beforehand saying, "What should I wear?" And had you tie a bow tie? And can I wear a tie instead of a bow? tie because I don't like bow ties. <laughs> and Pete said I could. And so I rocked up in my tie and this is how I you don't know. know why it meant why I said you could. It's not my fucking Yeah, I know, but you're the kind of person that you dress like that quite a lot. So like if you say yes, I'm like, well, I know I'm good to go. Yeah. Well I'm just I know you but you go to like swanky events and stuff. So I was like this is gonna be like if you know that you can do that, I'll do it. So we rock up. We're in a car, we're on our way there. You know it's a big event where the moment the car door opens paps there was Pat Mate, there. at the entrance, it was like a formality. They were literally like, right, guys, it was, it was like a red carpet. Mate, the cars would line up, right? It's like going to the Brits. The cars would line up, right? And then you'd get out your car, you'd oh. walk up, and the Pat would pat you up. And you'd be like, right, and they'd be like, Zara, can we have a single? <laughs> I'd be like, I'll see you later. And then they would do a single, leg out, fucking all that shit. And then, and then everyone mills about a little bit. And then they had these, like, buggies, that you'd get in the back of these buggies and they'd take you up the driveway oh. to the fucking to to the to the the, the ceremony. And uh 
So it was excessive. It was fucking hell. But like, I, that must have been, I dread to think how much money that was. Um, my favourite story, well, there's a million stories you've told me that are my favourite. Uh, but my favourite one is the place cards. Everyone had place cards, yeah? Yeah. So everyone had place cards with a little note from yeah, little, Sophie and Jamie. Little poem. A uh, little poem thing. Uh, what did yours say? Uh, I can't actually remember. Um, but it was something about, because obviously you used to date Sophie for a little bit, so it was something along the lines of, this wouldn't happen if it wasn't for you. I think so, yeah. Let me try to see if I've got it. That is actually what was, yeah. It was like, would we be here if it wasn't for you? Who knows? I was like, well, who knows? So if she hadn't have dumped you, then you know what I mean? So <laughs> they're fucking happy days then. Um, how did everyone, did you catch up with all the old Chelsea lights? This, this is Monty, it's Theodore, <laughs> how have you been? Theodore. Do you know what? Tarquin. I will say Tarkas wasn't there. Tarkas. I will say this. I don't really speak all that much to the main Chelsea crew and stuff. Not because I... Like, Exclusive. We're in, there no, is feud. Not like we're... Sam Thompson slams X made in <laughs> Chelsea cast. Not like we're in a few like you and the X Towie cast. It's just that like I just don't really see him that much anymore. Um, and it's really nice to dip your toe back in. Do you know what I mean? So, like, it, it honestly, it was like Pruders was there, aka Proudlock. Uh, Spenny you... Matthews was there, Spencer, and he was the MC. So, like, everybody was there. It was that you had, and then you had like Liv Bentley was there. I'll tell you what, I've never really spoken to Lottie Moss before. My God, is she a character? We were sat, Zara was sat next to her. Now, those are two contrasts right there. Yeah, I can imagine that being an interesting conversation. She has a tattoo on her face. Yeah, love that. Um, so how 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 was it in general? How drunk did you get? Me and Pruders were by the bar. Please stop calling him Pruders. No, me and, me and Pruders. Proudlock. Me and Proudlock were by the bar. Tequila, tequila, pow, pow. Pow, pow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hugging. The hugging. Yeah, yeah, pow, I hadn't pow, seen him hug. in ages, yeah. And then I jumped in his cab and him and his lovely wife gave me a ride home. It was, and Jamie cried when Sophie walked down the aisle. Is that because he saw his hair? Oh, his hair was tight. Yeah, what no, the fuck? It looked like he had a wig on. Yeah, I know. I don't know why he didn't come. Looked very smart. Other than that, she looked lovely. Yeah, she she looked beautiful. But I've got to say, Jamie, I know you listen to this podcast. Um, it was so sweet. He literally, she like appeared and he just burst into tears. Did it make you think? Will I cry when you see Zara? Walker? Yeah, I panicked. I was like, I don't think I will. And I was like, shit. Now I feel like you've got to cry. Do you not think you will? I don't know. I feel like you don't know until you get there. I think you will. I hope I do. I think you'll be sweating, very yeah, clammy. Same. Well, you'll be next to me because you'll be best man. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll organise a stag do, and then if I'm not busy, I'll come to the wedding. I will tell you this, though. Oh, the, just, to, just to top it off, it was like it was like a fairy tale. It was unbelievable. It was like an event. It wasn't even a wedding. It was an event. Uh, great. Um, <laughs> so I was also in Marbella. Um, when this was going on. I know, I so, messaged you lots. <laughs> you didn't um, reply. I was there for a friend of mine's birthday and um, I spent the entire time being asked if I was going to the wedding. <laughs> uh, see, the amount of times I had to go, no, I haven't been invited. No, no, I've not been invited. No, you're going to see Sam? No, I'm not. That's literally all I did was just walk around saying, uh, no, I'm not going to the wedding. Um, so anyways, that's that. Well, no, Pete oh, was actually, more. Pete was in Marbella. So I was there for my mate's wedding. Pete was in Marbella. For his mate's 60th. Pete was there for his pal's 60th birthday. Yep, Steve. Um, uh, so we organised that last year for his 60th. So, so we went along. I have coffee with Steve every morning. But you're th he's double your age. Well, that's the first time you've ever got my age lower. Yes. It, um, just, it makes no sense. Well, of course, it, what, why does it, age is nothing but No, but a you're, it's, just, it's just odd that you're out there with the 60-year-olds just giving it large. Just one 60-year-old. There was a 23-year-old with us, a 23-year-old, a 60-year-old, and a couple of sort of between 30 and 40. And didn't you retire one of them? I, I did retire someone, and I did um, go out on my own one night, um, and I did not have a key to get in, so I did climb the villa wall, uh, scoured the roof, and slept in the garden. That is all on a 60-year-old's birthday. Good times. Different weekends were had. Put different it that different way. weekends. Yeah, you went to an event and I was fucking breaking into the, the villa that I was staying in. Um, anyway, stay in Redmond. Fuck it. Let's do it. So basically, when I say retired, it means. I didn't kill anyone. Well, yeah, well, it means that Pete basically drunk someone on the table so bad they didn't leave their room for the rest of the trip. So actually, the birthday party that he went on, everyone now hates him. Um, no, 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 they don't. They don't. I think they, they, there was a lot of shock. I think they were. Really... <laughs> there was a lot of shock. There was a lot of um, every time I'd have a drink. 
like that sort of disappointed faces. But to the point where actually uh, one of them got so uh, drunk, so Connor, if you're listening, um, that he next day had to go to a church and buy some rosary beads. Shut up. Which he wore just to cleanse himself, I think. Anyway, staying relevant. Right. Shall we? What, I mean, I don't know. Where, shall we start with what we've done? Podcast show. We did the podcast, podcast show, thing. baby. Come on. We got invited because we are a huge podcast now. Guest speakers. Guest speakers. In interviews. an industry that yeah. we're shit at. No, we're not. We. I think there's something wrong with the charts. Actually, do you know what? This is quite funny as well. Before we arrive, Pete messaged me going... Oh, God, yeah. And he went, don't talk about the chart position. <laughs> he went, <laughs> Because don't it's moan. all Sam does. We're, we're supposed to be in there talking about, you know, the podcast. And I think that the topic was how to not get professionally divorced. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so we did it with Duo. So we did it with um, the two hosts of Pressed, which is Adiola and Marion. Uh, they were both lovely. Yeah. And we had a fabulous host. Um, and it really goes to show why he gets so much work because he's just so brilliant in his job. Um, uh, Roman Kemp. <clears throat> the nemesis. <laughs> How was that for you? It was one of those moments where you go, I feel like we're in a, it's, it's like a parallel universe. And you're like, it's like they knew. So if you've listened to this podcast before, which you have, uh, you'll know that, that Roman is my nemesis. Uh, he's my work nemesis. You'll also know that Roman has no idea about yeah. that. Well, he does now. <laughs> yeah, he does now, yeah. He does now. Basically, I said before that he's the kind of guy, he's a lovely bloke, by the way, and he didn't even really know who I was. But he would, like, walk down the corridor and be like, hi, man. I'd look at him and go, you bastard. I'd be like, you do everything that I want to do. You do the radio, you do the, you do the advert, you do the fucking the TV presenting. You are me. Just better. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you're you're like Roman Kemp's afterbirth. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not entirely sure you you know he's you. No, no, as in he's the, he's the <coughs> me I want to be. Yeah, he's everything you want to be, mm. effectively. Um, but you told him that. Uh, you also uh, hugged him for far too long. Yeah, I know. It's because I didn't want to make it awkward. Because I was like, he well, now just knows. hoping to transfer some energy. Yeah, well, he like, he knew because he was like, apparently I'm your nemesis. And I was like, oh, no. <laughs> I was like, how do you know that? Because because people have told me. I was like, shit. Um, so I just thought I'd hug him. So we, we were in the biggest auditorium there, I think. Were we? Yeah, that was that was Go the biggest on! one. Um, and yeah, so we were, we, we were actually very nice to each other. Yeah. For a change. I said some really nice things about you. And I said some lovely things about you, as I always do. Um, so, so that was that. So you met your nemesis. Um, he was lovely, but how lovely is he? Really, he's it's such a nice guy. He's annoyingly nice. Like, yeah. I want to hate him. No, he's, he's really nice, really funny. And um, well, you've met him before anyway, haven't you? Yeah, I've but like, him. not much. I've met him a couple of times. But he comes from good genes because his mum and dad are fucking lovely as well. Shirley and Martin, they're fucking lovely. Um, so anyway, so that's that. Afterwards, you shot off. Um, I had a panic attack. Uh, yeah, so Sam had to shoot off because, uh, you know, I don't know what he was doing. <laughs> I had anyway. a panic attack on stage and had to leave. Um, so <laughs> you actually want to talk about that? Too many people there. Yeah. So, so yeah, there, there was a lot of people there, and there's a lot of people talking to us, and so Sam ran, uh, <laughs> Just, literally like Forrest Gump, out of the building, I want... down the fucking road, and then called me half an hour later, going, "I just don't know what's happening." Um, that's effectively what happened. I want to be Ant and Deck, and I can't even do. Can't yeah, even do he, he can't. He can't even manage a hundred people in an audience. Oh yeah, I forgot my rucksack. Do you actually forgot your rucksack? Got a rucksack there. So yeah. you you were that desperate to get out. You yeah. forgot the one thing that you bought with you. Yeah. So what? How did you? Did you have to come back for it? No, I got Seb the agent. I was like, do you... two scared. So you're hiding around a corner somewhere and asked your agent to run it out to you. No, no, he had to send it to me. The next oh, day. you just thought, fuck it, oh, fuck the fuck the rucksack. Yeah, 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 yeah your rucksack. I'm done. out of here. I'm gone. Um, so yeah, so, so Sam went out. So then I went and met some people because it's a podcast show, like it's like a conference type thing. So you go and meet people at different ad agencies and all that sort of stuff. Um, so um, uh, you know, sp speaking to this person, who's, and I'm walking with um, my management and Seb, who is uh, Sam's manager. Um, so we go up to this uh, uh, this ad agency, and uh, the guy goes, "I heard you two are really funny on stage earlier." Really? <clears throat> yeah. Uh, he thought Seb was you. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm no! serious. I'm serious. And I went, hey, what did you fucking do? And I still don't think he clicked. He went, honestly, guys, fucking love what you do. Uh, so obviously and, the podcast is doing great. And Seb was going, oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah, so you and your manager, like two peas in a fucking pod. Oh, Jesus Christ. 
Christ. Um, so, yes, yeah, so your manager, is um, he, he took over for you for a 15-minute conversation. <laughs> That's so um, embarrassing. Which, yeah, which was nice. And he made a couple of funny remarks. The guy really laughed at him. <laughs> yeah. I, presume, I presume that's because he thought it was Sam Thompson. So we might get a couple of jobs. Um, lots of jobs in the in the, in the the offering, apparently. Um, none of them will go to us, though, let's face it. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, podcast show, it was fun. Louisa Zisman was there. She messaged me after from, from Luana. Yeah. Um, loads of other people doing uh, talks and bits and bobs. So, yeah, it was quite interesting. That's why I love Pete, though. Pete's actually really good at socialising with people. Like, Pete will go out Well, yeah, because I don't fucking run off, do I? Well, no, it's just because there was a lot help! of people. No, I didn't say help. It was just really intense. We've done more intense things. No, than I know, that. I know. I, I mean, the really... week before we were at fucking Buckingham Palace. Well, we still got to talk about that. Um, yeah, that was a fucking interesting one. I think actually that's probably going to be my staying relevant thing is Buckingham Palace. <laughs> uh, because when the fuck would I ever get a chance to go Buckingham Palace? What was the thing you wanted to say that if if it was right, we got an axe to grind? Oh, okay, all right, fine. We'll, we'll do that bit now then. It's nothing to do with staying relevant. So, um, so obviously, I, I spent some time with Seb on that day. Um, and uh, I, I was speaking, you, you know, it's like when you do these things, you can't want people speaking, uh, you know, chatting, whatever. And this girl would come up and she was like, oh, God, your hair's amazing about my hair. And I said, oh, fucking don't tell Sam that because it's fucking going, isn't it? And Seb went, well, <clears throat> Sam's already had a hair transplant. <laughs> And I went, what? No, he hasn't. <laughs> you have, haven't you? <laughs> you fucking liar. I said, no, he's not. I fucking, t I said to him, you're fucking liar. No, he's wrong. We're booking in. No, you've had one. No, I genuinely haven't. We are booking it. He said to me that you fucking had one. No. You can look. Oh, I don't know. Have a look. I do, well, I know, I know the fucking back knee's doing. But yeah. No, and, we've, no, we've, but no. We, and then Seb really, really no, panicked no, because but, he was like, um, Oh my god! I thought you'd. Well, no, he, we we weren't going to tell you about the about the booking. We were just going to do it. I think I now think you've had it. So for anyone, well, look at my hair. Well, exactly. The back is not there, but the front is very much fucking in line. I um. So actually, Sam's been lying to me for fucking. No, years I actually have. And has had a hair transplant, which is have. why he edits my hair all the time, and which is why he calls me bald. But I actually have because he already had his fucking fixed without me. But I haven't. Um. So on the next one that you get fixed, uh, which is the back. I mean, you should have just had the whole thing done at the same time. I will. Um, I'm gonna get it all done. Uh. So 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 yeah. So you've actually booked in a hair transplant. Again, yeah. without me. Yeah, because well, you're not going to go. Well, I just think that's fucking rude. But I'm go okay, if we're going to do it, I will do it with you. I don't want to go. <laughs> do you want to come with me? Nope. It's only in London as well. We're not going, like, overseas. Where are you going, like, Harvey, uh, Harley <laughs> Street? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to have to shave my head. Um, oh, excellent. So if anyone... Are you going to tell people that you're doing it, though? Well, also, if I had a hair trial, I'd have to shave my fucking barnet. No, not necessarily. If you just have them bit fillers and then you went through a stage of having a weird little fringe. So you could cover it if you just... A, a little weird bit little fringe? When yeah. did I have a weird well, little fringe? Well, because yours is like a bit of a mess at the front. And then it made me think, if he's actually fucking done that and lied to me about that and has been taking the piss out of me receding <laughs> for the past fucking five years... <laughs> Knowing that he's got a fucking great hairline at the front because he'd had it done, <laughs> I would be fucking raging. I literally looked at Seb and said, like, "I'm going to kill him." But it doesn't matter because we're doing it now, baby. We're going. Well, you're doing it. I'm still not. I'm going to have to shave my head. I c can I shave it? Yeah, go on then. Well, listen, it'd be great content. Oh Ooh. god, I'm going to look so ugly. Um, no, you won't. I will. Uh, no, it'd be interesting. You'd just grow a bigger beard. Oh, I thought you had a proper axe to grind. That's like that a... is an axe to grind. I was fucking raging well, about it. Yeah, but it's it. not true. So I thought if he's absolutely fucking ripped me for my fucking hairline for five years and go, oh, look at mine, it's fucking great, because you'd had it done, <laughs> I'd be fucking raging. Um, anyway, all right, fine, that's not true. So Buckingham Palace, let's get on to Buckingham Palace then. So we went Buckingham Palace. Sam and I went um, for um, uh, like a, a charity thing, a tea party in Buckingham Palace. Which I didn't get invited to, by the way. No, uh, well, so Zara was invited, but Zara couldn't go because she was actually at a prior engagement with the princess. <laughs> Genuinely. <laughs> she spent the day with fucking Kate Midwin. Genuinely, which is why she couldn't have tea, a tea party in Buckingham Palace. Which is just the most fucking weird sentence to say. So, that. for background, it's for a really good charity. And uh, we were in... It, you get filed into the grounds of Buckingham Palace, which is beautiful. It's like a fucking park. You wouldn't believe it. Like, it's literally slap bang in the middle of London. But it's huge, the grounds of Buckingham Palace. I wasn't actually invited. Pete was invited. 
Uh, as was Josh Patterson, the runner guy who, who oh, just completed his marathons. <laughs> he just completed his marathons. And um, I was Zara's plus one. And um, then Zara turns around and goes, I'm not going because the princess has invited me to go on a private excursion somewhere. Absolutely <laughs> mental. So I carried, so I carried on. I took my plus one there and I was like, well, Pete's going, so I'm still going to go. So, so Sam and I, uh, if you can imagine it, were walking through the grounds of Buckingham Palace to sit down and have tea. Uh, which was like a, a finger buffet. Sam went up four times for the finger buffet um, and filled his plate to the point where the people were literally looking at him like he hadn't eaten for fucking three years. I mean, you really went for it, didn't you? I'd, honestly, it was absolutely banging. Came back and piled up, piled up fucking sandwiches. Like to, didn't, didn't, hold on, didn't JP get the hunt with someone? No, I did. Oh, was it you? <laughs> yeah. So they'd run out of fucking what's the little finger sandwich? No, they'd run out of the salmon rolls. They'd run out of little salmon rolls and Sam was like, well, is there any more coming? She said, yes, there'll be some soon. Well, I'll wait then. Yeah, well, no, no, and no, no, he just no, no. stood staring at the woman, waiting for the fucking things to come out at Buckingham Palace. It wasn't. It's not fucking Toby Carvery. You, you know what I mean? Like, will you just fucking wait? I'll just wait for the chicken to come back. No, yeah, I'll tell you what. That is what happened. But I was a lot more polite. I was like, I'll just stand over here and wait. And then she got the hunt with me and was like, "You can't just stand there." I was like, "Well, I can stand here because there's a, the queues over there." And like, so I was just stood, and everyone was leaving. I was like, I'm "Just waiting for my salmon sandwich." Yes, they were walking off. Um, he then came came back to uh, the table, proceeded to just take pictures of everyone and shout, Pete Wicks from Towie is here. Um, that was really enjoyable in, in the grounds. We then went for a walk around Ooh, the grounds. Oh, Susanna Reid was there. Susanna Reid was Susanna there. Susanna Reid. Vanessa Phelps was there. there was a... And then Pete was like, don't look at her. And I couldn't not look. So, yeah. I, so I, they were on the table next to us. And I turned around and looked at her. And she caught eyes with me. She knew who we were, by the way. I don't think she did. She so. did fucking did. And I don't... So I think she smiled. I think that she's interviewed me, actually. But There anyway. you go. Um, actually, I've got another story, quickly. Uh, Pete Wicks, you can take this man wherever in the world, and this prick is a sex icon. A sex icon. We are in the grounds of Buckingham oh, Palace. Yeah. The literally outside, I can we, we like where 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 George and Prince William have played before, and a woman comes streaking, not not naked, and she comes running across acro across the lawn going, Pete Wicks! It's fucking Pete Wicks! I need to get a photo with sex on legs. She then got her stiletto stuck in the mud at Buckingham Palace. There's a woman running at Pete, stiletto off because it's in the mud, going, I need a photo with sex on legs. We're all suited and booted at the palace. Yeah, it was. Yeah, I mean that was uh, that. I, that was weird. I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to. I've never seen anything like it in my entire life. There was some. I oh, do, do get some weird shit happen. Mate, I've never. It, it was the. It was. It, it was lovely. And like everyone wanted photos of Pete. No one wanted a photo of me. No, that's a fucking lie. So, <laughs> but, but what what Sam does though? Sam's small talk is so bad. It's painful to the point where I just like to sit him off and then just watch from a distance because. Anyone that will come up, you use the same line on everyone because you go, you look lovely today. I've gone for blue. I love blue. It's my favourite colour. That was literally how you started every conversation. <laughs> and then they go, yeah, no, I like blue too. And then you go, so um, uh, what's your favourite thing about blue? That's literally how your small talk goes. It was just blue was in your head and then it was that I'm just going to focus on blue and that's all I'm doing. And anyone that was in blue, yeah. another blue suit, you go, oh, blue. <laughs> it was the fucking weirdest thing I've ever seen. Um, but no, it was fun. Then you, then you tried to have a piss in the grounds. No, 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 no. Until, no. so basically, we were walking around the grounds. He didn't have a piss. Don't do this. Don't do worry, it. he didn't have a piss. But we're walking around the grounds and... Um, uh, Sam said, oh, do you think I could just get away with having a piss in the bush? Because it's a long way on the toilets over there. Um, then sort of, sort of just strolled around some bushes until he found that there were cameras in the bushes. There was a camera <laughs> in the bush? Okay. It was literally yeah. cameras in the trees and bushes. And then suddenly, so he just held it. I did want to have a piss. Um, but I'm absolutely gutted that you didn't get your cock out in Buckingham Palace <laughs> and have a piss. Um, because that <laughs> would have been... Sam Thompson arrested for indecent exposure. So, yeah, so we were at the palace, um, which was interesting. So I thought that was great until I went on my management Instagram. This is brilliant, by the way. The next day. You know, I'm not sure many of their clients go to Buckingham Palace. <sighs> but what they do have is people that are actually genuinely with the king. <laughs> <laughs>
Um, lovely guy, I really like him. Um, and it, obviously completely different to us, but managed by my management, Ovi Soko. Um, was just a lovely picture. They didn't mention my management, by the way, me being at Buckingham Palace, which I thought was a big fucking thing. Did, however, put up a lovely picture of Ovi and Charles having a fucking great chat. A one-on-one. -on -one. <laughs> Same management. There is a photo. This is what's so Same brilliant. Same opportunities. There's a photo. Of, Same opportunities. There's a photo of Ovi with King Charles in deep conversation at the same time that there is a photo of me and Pete in the palace grounds. And I'm cupping... Having a photo with a beef eater. No, no, no. I'm cupping Pete's bollock. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so you've got the photo of Ovi and King Charles in deep conversation, a photo of me and Pete just in the grounds. And I'm holding Pete's penis. <laughs> and then if you put those two photos together, you can see who's doing well at your agency and who's not. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I mean, that was a bit of a kick in the fucking bollocks. There's also a guy it. watching. <laughs> the guy, you know, when I'm holding your... Cock, there's a guy literally going, Oh, I have to stop doing that. You do that every time we have a fucking thing. What he does, he just hovers his hand around my fucking cock, and it looks it's just weird. I don't know why you it's because you don't know what to do in a picture. You get and then you start doing you, but you do it with other people. I've noticed you've got this this weird thing where you, you don't go in for the full hug of the picture, you sort of do a hand behind and then like a, just a hand on the stomach. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it just looks like you're just you're just because no, gently... we're like friends. I did that you with Roman. Did, you did it with Anne Marie. You do it with everyone that you interview and everyone that you ever meet. It's the same weird hug that looks like a koala bear clinging to a fucking tree. <laughs> it's fucking weird. And I don't. Just stand there, mate. I just love the way there's a photo of me holding Pete's penis in the palace grounds. <laughs> Absolutely fucking ridiculous. And then Pete is right. We also maybe didn't get a photo with a king. We did get a photo with a beef eater. Yes, we did. Um, and, yeah, that, that was about as, as, as good as it got. But, listen, great event. Great event. Great charity as well. Great event, great charity. Um, I then went out afterwards um, because, uh, I mean, the thing that disappointed me most was there's no alcohol there. Yeah, Pete, actually, Pete said, and I quote, shit, I should... And, by the way, this isn't a joke. You went, shit, I should have bought my hit flask. It was a beautiful day. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> what goes better with, with uh, you know, a finger sandwich than a hip flask? That's <laughs> fine. A salmon sandwich. Um, so, so yeah, from there I, I then popped out and uh, Josh Patterson, JP. Well. Uh, who has uh, just done 76 marathons in 76 days. Fucking incredible. Amazing what he's done. Hadn't really drunk properly since that had happened. What day was this, by the way? He'd finished it on a Saturday. And what um, day did we do this charity thing? Tuesday. <laughs> Tuesday. Um, so I then um, went with the lovely girls at Bell uh, PR who look after Sam and I and, and, and whatever else. Um, so we, we, we went out for a few drinks. We went Amazonico and um, he got fucked. Did no. Did speak to him the next day? No, sorry. That's such a... Pete took him out and JP went, Pete's asking me to come for a drink at Amazonico. And he went, God, it's a Tuesday afternoon. I don't know if I'm right ready for this. And Pete was like, oh, don't worry, mate. It's a Saturday somewhere. Literally fucking turns up to Amazonico. It's a Saturday everywhere. everywhere Pete... <laughs> everywhere's the... Saturday is the You know thing. what I mean. It's a universal thing. Pete, I then get a message. I'm doing my radio show at this point. I get a message from JP going, I'm absolutely fucked. I've just thrown up in the loos of Amazonico. Pete has forced me to do shots of tequila. I've got to do, I've, we had to do a, I think he had to do a talk the next day on a Wednesday. He was like, Why am I here on a Tuesday? It was early, it was only like quarter past seven that he messaged you. Fucking disgrace. Um, but Absolute anyway, disgrace. so that was a good night. Good night, enjoyed it. Definitely staying relevant. Yeah, we and, and you know what? I think we were the life of the party there. I'm gonna put it out there. I'm gonna put this out there. No one knew why the fuck we were there, and we walked around the gardens together well the majority of it i would hardly say we were life and soul apart sex on legs what about that yeah that was a bit odd. yeah exactly <laughs> and, and people were literally coming up like pete please please get me to have a photo there was a girl at the podcast show um how weird was that as well who was just literally shouting i love you pete whilst filming me <laughs> she was working there um, I fucking like you're an icon. This fucking... podcast has done you wonders. People now see him for the reason I see him. You're an icon of the highest level. So yeah, so that we've been busy. There's so many other things that we we're gonna have to talk about on another episode. We you know we went to a KSI. We've got loads of fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. shit to talk. We about. still have the KSI um, boxing match that we went to, which Pete claims is the time that I've let him down the most. 100% it, to the point where I genuinely was going to leave him, yeah, Pete, uh, which I've never done. 
basically, Pete said, I, we basically went to this event from, because we were like, well, this is, we got invited uh, front row to be ringside. Did we? Pete got invited ringside and he was like, I'll bring Sam because it will be good for the Staying Relevant podcast. Let's just say that by the end of it, he said that it was the most disappointed he's ever been at me and I've never let the side down more. It was fucking embarrassing. We'll do that you. on another day. Because we've actually run out of time because we've waffled on by... Uh, yeah. Because we've waffled on so much. So, um... I'll say goodbye and all that. Because uh, we've had so much to catch up on. We've actually got no sidebar of shame this week, but we are going to catch up on all of it. I can promise, I can promise you that. Yeah, we'll be doing a bit of extra sidebar of shame, I think, because um, there's been some fucking embarrassing things uh, I've seen in the press over the past week or so. Yeah. Really embarrassing. I've got some good ones for you. So that'll be on next week's one. So, um, well, we're also going to talk about uh, paid post Pete. Oh, on, the, yeah. on the next podcast as well. Oh, yeah. Tell me about it. Uh, so, um, until next week, subscribe, follow uh, Stan Relevant Podcast. Uh, every Monday we come out on whatever platform you listen to. Every Friday we come out on YouTube, which is the bit you can watch with extra bits. Don't know what the extra bits are, but uh, follow us on Instagram, Stan Relevant Podcast. Follow us on TikTok, Stan Relevant Podcast. Uh, just follow us wherever the fuck you can. Apart from home, don't do that. Oh, I know where he lives. So you could if you wanted to. Don't don't do that. He lives in Harlow. So now, see you later. We love you. All right. Like a family loves its daughter. Daughter. Why would we be the daughter? I don't know. Said it. Why felt weird. Be the daughter? I don't that know. Really weird. I don't know. <laughs>